Hey, Paul, yeah. if you were invisible, what is the first thing you would do? Ooh, what? <laughs> Um, uh, oh, I, ah, uh, I would, um, I'd sneak up behind people and I'd touch them on the shoulder and I'd be on the other shoulder <laughs> they wouldn't see me, right? And then I would, uh, I'd go on a log flume and I'd do a moony and get the photo and, uh, oh, I would ring people up, right? I'd prank call them, prank call them. Hello, ooh, it's me, Mr. Prank Caller. And they'd be in the same room. I'm in the same room. Get, we'd be in the same room. I'd put cling film over the toilet sheet. <laughs> To toilet seat and uh, oh and I would I would I would take the lids off the pepper pots unscrew them put them back down people would come up there to use it and they wouldn't be able to use it because well it would all go everywhere um, oh I'd have so much fun I'd probably I'd read a book I'd, I'd get some of the house cleaning done uh, I'd look, walk the dog yeah oh, I get it'd be great I'd love it. <laughs> Look in the mirror a bit, but we look in the mirror. What, what would you do? I would rape everybody! <laughs> and fly. A better call, Paul! Hello, Paul. Hello. Hello. I've got an idea for a terrible sketch. Sounds good. Brilliant. I'll meet you in five minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye then. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. See you in five. Yep. Wicked. Bye. Okay, then bye. Bye. Okay. All right. I'm hanging up. Yep. Uh, are you going to hang up? Are you, are you still there? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Why don't you hang up? I will. Are you going to hang up? Yep. Okay, let's hang up in three, yeah? Okay. Three... Two, one. Are you still there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still yeah. there. You, you hang, hang up. up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. You hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. You hang up. No, you hang up. Hang up. You hang up. Why did you hang up? Because I phoned you. I think that it's, I've got I've I've got another one with the idea for the sketch. I think it's right that you hang up and then you come and meet me. Oh, all right. It's really bad, though. Come on, Ed, let's go. Oh, God. Well, you're here now. It's basically that. Nick, what would you have for your last meal? Well, Paul, thank you for asking. I would have the all-you-could-eat buffet. And I would literally just keep going up for about 30 or 40 years. And then eventually I would die of old age. Uh, and there's not a thing they can do about it. Because legally I am entitled to a last meal. What about you? I ordered the lamb. You don't even like lamb, do you? I hate it. You're panicked. Ham and chili. Research has shown that the funniest thing in the world is a man in a dress. Helmut Taylor know this. What are you still doing up? I waited up for you. Oh, Paul. Why are you getting in at 7am? What have you been doing? I just... Me and the girls got separated at some point and... It didn't even ring. Well, my... I lost my handbag. 
What? You could have called me with someone else's phone. Why didn't you call me with... Paul. I suppose... I should tell you the truth. I owe you at least that. Yeah. I've been... having an affair. Um... It started off very innocently. What? Just... You've been, please, you've this, been is hard. Hard. this is hard what? enough. This is hard enough. Is it hard enough that you're getting angry with your temper? Who win? Tony for work. Oh, Tony, you're never there. Why did you do this to me? It's just a Why did I deserve no, this? It's just not working out, Paul. Tony! I'm so sorry, hurting you was the last thing I wanted to do. You just go. Go. Just go. Okay, cut. Man in a dress! He's such a wally. Well, Paul. Six and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Words will never hurt you, eh? <laughs> Hello, cousin. Ah! Words will never hurt you, eh? Yes. Okay, do you want another pint? Yep. Um, I haven't got any money. Um, Neither have I. Okay.